Discovery's first mission to depart Earth, the Near-Earth Asteroid Rendezvous, or NEAR, later named Near Shoemaker, honoring planetary pioneer Gene Shoemaker, was destined for Eros, the second largest of the Near-Earth asteroids. The four-year, two-billion-mile journey to Eros took NEAR through the inner solar system and passed the main belt asteroid Matilda in 1997 for a first close-up look at a C-type carbon-rich asteroid before successfully going into orbit around the 20-mile-long stony S-type asteroid Eros. Eros became a celestial laboratory for scientists to answer many fundamental questions about the nature and origin of asteroids, a primary mission goal. Each of Near Shoemaker's six science experiments contributed in different ways to understanding the structure and composition of Eros. After returning more than 160,000 images and achieving all of the planned science goals, the mission team programmed Near Shoemaker to descend and land on the surface of Eros to obtain unique measurements of surface composition. The spacecraft was not designed to be a lander. The highly risky yet carefully planned maneuver successfully set the spacecraft down on Eros near Himeros, the asteroid's prominent saddle-shaped depression. Instrument data from this first long-term study of an asteroid have revealed Eros to be a cracked yet mechanically coherent rock with a density similar to that of Earth's crust. Scientists now believe that Eros formed as a chip off a larger asteroidal body. Up close, Eros revealed a truly unique and geologically active landscape, with many craters altered by mass motions of loose dust and debris, called regolith, that in some areas is thought to be as deep as a 10-story building. Much of the surface is strewn with millions of boulders, some the size of a house. The Erosian geology is a complex mix of craters, grooves, and ridges, as well as exceptionally flat, smooth areas of fine regolith called ponds, which were not expected. Nearer's new and surprising details about asteroids are enticing scientists to seek more answers. What processes determine the surface geologies and internal structures of asteroids, and how do they depend on asteroid size? Perhaps Dawn, Discovery's next asteroid mission, will unlock some of these mysteries. A journey in both space and time is planned for Dawn, NASA's first truly interplanetary spaceship. Dawn's expedition includes extended stays at two celestial bodies, something no other spacecraft has yet been able to do. Dawn will travel to the debris-strewn, ring-shaped asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. There it will conduct a detailed, close-in study of Vesta and Ceres, two of the earliest discovered and most massive asteroids in our solar system. Studying these two very diverse minor planets with the same set of instruments, will give scientists a snapshot of conditions during the first 10 million years after the genesis of our solar system. Among the goals of Dawn are to determine the shape, size, surface composition, internal structure and chemistry of Vesta and Ceres, and to better understand the role of size and water in planetary evolution. Dawn is the first discovery mission powered by ion propulsion an advanced technology that allows it to carry enough fuel and adjust its velocity to orbit and study two asteroids during one mission. After traveling 1.9 billion miles through the inner solar system, Dawn begins seven months of intensive study at Vesta in September 2011. Then it races one billion miles farther and arrives at Ceres three years later. Dawn will peer into the past to reveal the secrets of early planetary formation. 